Hey there, wrestling fans. Teague Moore, your wrestling consultant. I was asked this week by a friend, a head coach, can you please create a video and explain to parents and wrestlers the importance of getting signed up for the NCAA Eligibility Center? So here goes. Uh, the NCAA Eligibility Center is a website set up by the NCAA for every Division I or Division II athlete that's going to graduate high school or finish high school and move on to compete in college. This is a must for anyone that wants to take their five paid official visits to institutions and or participate and compete at the Division I, Division II level. Doesn't matter about scholarship, doesn't matter about success in high school. The only thing that matters is your grade classes that you take and your grades that you earned while you went through high school. So here's the basics of it. There's 16 core classes that the NCAA is looking to make sure that you took from ninth grade to 12th grade, okay? It's, it's not necessarily looking for specific grades, but it's making sure that you passed and that the curriculum for those classes are approved. And you can go to the website and you're gonna look at the 16 core classes. There's maths, there's Englishes, there's sciences, foreign languages. Uh, there's 16 classes that you have to have taken throughout high school that count and they'll be certified so that you can participate. Now, the website. I'm gonna put a link down below this video to make sure that you have the proper NCAA website. There's a lot of scam websites that have been set up that look very similar to the Eligibility Center and what they want you to do is go sign up with them, send you your transcripts and test scores, then they create an account for you at the NCAA, send that stuff along, get it certified, and then they'll send it back to you. Sometimes they don't even do that. Sometimes they'll just accept payment from you and then they don't do anything at all. So make sure you're going to the official NCAA website and you're gonna input your information. It's a fairly simple process, but there are some steps that I'm gonna talk about. Number one, when you go to that website, when you register, the biggest hurdle I experienced in 20 years of coaching was the athlete or parent that registered with the website, they didn't write the login and the password information down. Sometimes you go three months or six months before you go back and check again, and they would forget their login or their password, or they wouldn't have access to that email account anymore, and it creates a big hurdle to get back into that account. So my advice to any athlete or parent, when you go to register, take your phone, create a contact called NCAA Eligibility Center, put your login and put your password into your phone, into your contacts, then it's always there for future reference. You just go into your contact list, you find NCAA Eligibility Center, here was my login, here was my password, okay? Second thing you gotta do, you've gotta communicate with your school, your high school, and get your official transcripts sent to the NCAA. They've gotta be official. You can't go get a photocopy of it and then send that to the NCAA. The NCAA needs to make sure it's your official transcripts from your high school of the classes you've taken, the grades you've received, that goes into your account. You're also gonna need your test scores, ACTs, SATs. There's some COVID exceptions going on right now because of the craziness that uh, everybody has gone through the last two years. But in general, they're looking for your transcripts and your test scores direct from the testing agency. They are then gonna put you through a checklist for those 16 core classes to make sure that you've passed or taken a curriculum that's equivalent. They want everybody competing in Division I and Division II having done these academic prerequisites to be able to compete at the next level, okay? It does not determine if you get accepted or get into an institution. It's not institutionally driven. It's by the NCAA to make sure everybody has done equal things academically to be able to com compete at a Division I or a Division II. Guidance counselors at each high school usually know about it, but they may not know the exact step-by-step -step process, right? And, and quite frankly, I think it's the responsibility of the athlete and the parent to make sure you go through it. So check with your guidance counselor. They might be able to give you advice, but ultimately it's up to you to make sure that you get registered and you get that information into the NCAA. That allows you to take your five paid official visits to go look at Division I or Division II institutions. That's how the institutions know and track that you haven't taken all five already. They communicate with the NCAA Eligibility Center and say, is this athlete certified? If the NCAA says yes, 
that official visit counts off of one of their five paid official visits to those institutions. You're also going to want to go back to that website, the NCAA website, Eligibility Center, and check your status every now and then. You might need to update transcripts uh, as you move through your sophomore year, junior year, senior year, until ultimately you fulfill all 16 core classes and you're considered certified to participate and compete at any Division I or Division II institution. First question that gets asked, what if they're not certified? What if they didn't get the 16 core classes in? Well, you could potentially go to a junior college and try to reset your academics or get classes that are needed. You could go to a prep school, again, to try and help fix some of those academic issues before you move on to a Division I or Division II institution. Um, the other question that comes up is the fee that's associated with it. Sometimes the athlete or the parents can't afford to pay the fee. The NCAA has a fee waiver process that can, they can help guide you through and maybe you get a chance to do the eligibility center and it doesn't cost you anything at all. So make sure you check that out on the website. I am gonna put the links to the NCAA eligibility center down below in the comments. Feel free to email me or call me or text me with questions. Uh, but hopefully this is helpful to the athlete and the parents. Teague Moore, your wrestling consultant, please go to my YouTube channel, subscribe, like this video, please share it on social media. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me at any time. Teague Moore, your wrestling consultant. Have a great day, everybody.